Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Bachelor in Paratus News. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. I am your friend Alana B. Let's start. Do Bachelor Nation leads choose who gets one on one dates? The coveted one on one dates are a staple on Bachelor Nation shows. But do the leads get a say in who they go on the solo dates with? Keep reading to find out secrets behind the popular dating franchise. Who really plans the one on one dates? Who wouldn't love to get swept away on a romantic date to a winery or take part in an adventurous skydiving date? The one on one dates between a Bachelor Nation lead and one of their contestants are a major part in forming connections on the ABC reality show. Viewers recently watched Golden Baccalaureate Joan Vassos get serenaded by the legendary Wayne Newton during a solo date to Vegas with suitor Pascal Ebier. The show likes to pretend that the lead plans the dates out, but is that just smoke and mirrors? Former Bachelor Nation host Chris Harrison spilled to Entertainment Tonight in 2020 that the dates are 100% planned by the show's producers. We take into account who they are. We talk to them about their level of loving action and adventure, fishing, whatever it is. We try to implement that into the show. Since the leads don't have the resources or time to plan the dates, do they at least get to choose their one-on-one -on -one date companion? The show definitely implies that the contestant given the date card is asked by the lead with a handwritten note. One fan took to Reddit to ask how much control the leads have over who gets the dates. According to the comments, not much. And that info was straight from former leads. Seen Low said they have no control I believe, one Bachelor Nation fan replied to the post. Another added, one-on-one's none. Producers pick but do make sure frontrunners get them. A third commentator brought up something season 23 Bachelor Colton Underwood said. He said on This American Life that Cassie was always his number one, but halfway through filming, he realized they weren't giving him time with her and were creating artificial obstacles. So he started pretending to be more drawn to Hannah and it worked. He suddenly had dates and one-to-one -one time with Cassie. Producers are there to create drama, not facilitate connections. Producers influence elimination ceremonies. Another constant question about how much producers control the show is whether they decide who gets eliminated during the rose ceremonies. One Bachelor Nation fan wrote in the Reddit thread, Katie Thurston did an interview that's on YouTube. She said that she told the producers which guys that she liked and wanted to keep on the show. For the other guys, the producers told her which ones they wanted to keep around, because they make good tea. The reality show isn't as real as it seems. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments. Jennifer Havener grew up in a small town in upstate New York. She earned her BA in writing and literature from Naropa University in Boulder, Colorado. She always knew watching reality TV shows and soap operas, particularly Days of Our Lives, would come in handy someday, when she's not writing, she's playing with her dogs, Lola and Ruger. Read more.